Hello everyone, my name is Spherical and welcome to Grounded. I have been dying to play this game, and even though it's still in early access at the moment, that did not stop them from shrinking us down to the size of an ant. Can we survive in the harsh, unforgiving world of our back garden? Probably not, but there's only one way to find out, so let's jump straight into it. I'm gonna have to go with Pete. He's clearly a born adventurer, and he looks like he has what it takes to survive a fight or two. Okay, wow, I already love this. What is that behind oh. us as well? That is that raises so many questions straight off the bat. I like that. Questions that perhaps should not have an answer. However, this was developed by Obsidian and they are known for their fantastic storytelling, so I'm sure we'll find out. Are those ants up there? Are ants hostile in this game? I should imagine they are, because ants like to attack everything they see, but I don't know. Oh, they are not ants, they're weevils. I love them. So as I've said, this is still in development, but I am really hoping for a taming feature. Because I mean, look at them. They are the perfect size to be a pet. Which would be amazing, it would be like Ark Survival Evolved, but instead of everything else being big, we're just small. Plus it already runs better than Ark ever did on my Xbox. So, chances are, I'm going to get very addicted to this. This may be a problem. Interact with computer. Like this. I'm doing science! There's no interact prompt anymore, did I break it? Oh no, it's over here. Well, let's get analysing them. Yep, that is indeed a rock. That's confirmed my suspicions. Ah, oh, this is some durable glass. Oh, hello. There's a little aphid, I think? They're very afraid of me, aren't they? No clue why. Why is a chopping tool? And how do I make a chopping tool? Oh, hello, Mr. Ant. I'm surprised you don't want to kill me. You're kind of cute, actually. Let's be friends. The hell is that thing? I shouldn't drink from this water, but I'm going to. Why? I'm, I'm not sure. What are you? Are you trying to chase after me? I can't... Okay, bye. We have mushrooms. Consume Dr. mushroom. Oh, it's worse than Dad's Brussels sprouts. You really shouldn't be dissing your father's cooking like that, Pete. I mean, think about it. You're probably never going to see him again. You're very, very small at the moment, and spiders do still exist. Yeah, I think that's definitely trying to chase after me, but again, it's just not very good at its job. Kind of cute though, but your cuteness won't save you. Ah yes, you are in that. Well, get away from me. That's it. Just, just leave. Oh, there's a button up here. Oh, this literally just push. I don't need to smack it with a rock. Don't know why my first idea every time has been smash it with a rock instead of just trying the interact prompt. Maybe there's some deep-rooted caveman thing going on, but there's no time for online psychoanalysis. We need to head over there to that laser tower thing and fix it up, and we also need to find a way to cut down that blade of grass. No clue what this thing is doing to the gnat, so it gives me a chance to finish what I started. It's too dangerous to be left alive. Max, that'll do it. One more hit, and that's one laser down. Let's make our way over to the other one. Oh, the bigger materials don't go in your inventory. There's a carry mechanic. That's kind of cool. What's red spider mites all along? Not sure why they're eating the wires, but they are. Or lawn mites, I guess. Was lawn mites all along. Not sure why they're eating the wires, but they are. And I guess they can do their own thing. For they are strong, independent lawn mites. Glad we have an axe, though. Feels better for killing. And you're dead. That's not all of them. Do I need to climb higher? Oh, good god, I hate this. And there's nothing up here. I, I guess I wasn't meant to climb up here. Yeah, the wire continues on down there, I think. So I guess that's where we have to go. Oh god, I fell. We're fine. Everything's fine. Kinda wish I checked this way before I climbed up there. Oh, it is pitch black in here. We should make a torch. Torch! My mom always says I light up a room. Yeah, what a funny joke, Pete. I'm really glad you told me that one because now I won't be so sad if you die to a spider. These lawn mites are really aggressive, aren't they? I'm just glad they're small and feisty and not, well, large and feisty. Okay, sweet. Now that's all of them. I guess we'll make our way back then. Let's click activate. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Oh, and just like that, it looks like we're dead. So thank you everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to- No, I'm not going to do that. I'm sure we're perfectly fine. It was just three giant death lasers. We just blew up a tree. Yeah, that don't look too good. Maybe we shouldn't have just pressed go on a machine we don't know anything about, Pete. Actually, never mind. Forget that. Buttons are fun. Always push the button. Even if this is big, red, and says do not push. Push it. Watch it go down, and then go back up again. That's what buttons do, and they're pretty damn entertaining. Worse than my mom's Brussels sprouts. You know what, Pete? I think you need to stop having a go at your parents cooking. I think you might just not like sprouts. Like your mum's Brussels sprouts, your dad's Brussels sprouts. I'm fairly certain you just don't like sprouts. 
Not sure what this glowing pink thing is, but it's glowing in pink, so I assume I'm meant to collect it. Okay. I still don't know what it is, but I guess we have a hundred of whatever that is. Yay. That is a cool mechanic to get clean water. This game has so many cool mechanics in it. Could you tell I like this game? Because I like this game. Can I open that mint bottle? Mint bottle? What's a mint bottle? Can I open that tic tac box? Because let's be honest, it's a tic tac box. I'm sure it's not labelled as such because copyrights, but it's a tic tac box. I'm sure I use a tic tac or mint because I'm sure it's not shaped like a tic tac. Oh my god, you can open it. Oh, I need a hammer. I have a hammer. I need a stronger hammer. Well, I guess we're going to have to deal with bad breath. Oh, I need to build a lean-to. Uh, don't see where that is. I guess let's chop some more materials. Later. Still can't find it anywhere. Build a really rudimentary shelter. Much, much later. It is very, very dark. Way past Pete's bedtime. But Pete's a naughty, naughty boy. Much, much, much later. Well, we're starving to death, but that's okay. Why? Because I don't mind Pete starving to death. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Um, we don't have the blueprints for building a roof or a floor, so I don't really see what I'm meant to do here. Can't see anything anywhere. Let's just double check through. Oh my god, it's right there. Oh, I'm so stupid. I should have just checked through everything before I decided to build an entire house. I just wasn't expecting it to be under utilities, okay? I thought it'd be under construction. Well, I guess let's build it right here. Right in front of our house. If you can call an area without a roof or a floor a house. In fact, what would you call it? Oh my god, I can't believe it was that simple. Oh, uh, it was really that simple the whole time. I was, I was there for about half an hour. Anyway, what would you call an area without a roof or a floor? I mean, whatever it is, it's probably worth about 200 grand and you just know they'd market it along the lines of, let's say, a light airy contemporary alternative home with plenty of natural lighting with the only issue being there's a little bit of a shortage on floor space. Well, I could become a real estate agent, couldn't I? I suppose the only issue with that is I have a problem with keeping a smile while lying to someone's face and robbing them. So yeah, maybe not the best idea. What's that? Whatever is it doesn't look healthy for me. Oh, it's like a juice droplet. Again, another cool mechanic. This game's just full of them. Everything about this is just so cool. Such a cool everything. Oh god, what is happening with those ants? Um, you alright there? I don't want to get in your way. You're kind of scaring me, so I'm going to leave you alone. Hammer time. Yeah. I've got to say, this game's impressing me. Oh, and the ants even farm the aphids as well. That's it. That's made this game for me. I love that. I love that so much. If you've seen any of my other content, or you know, seen the channel name and the channel icon, you'd probably realise I'm someone who's quite into wildlife, in particular entomology, but wildlife as a whole really. And coming from that particular set of interests, this is just, this is everything I could hope for. I just love it. Even though it's in early access, there's so many of the little details which we've kind of come to expect from Obsidian. They are a phenomenal game studio, and they have made some brilliant games. Most recently, The Outer Worlds, which we, again, I absolutely love. But I just can't rate this highly enough. I mean, it's obviously still got a long way to go. They have to add more content, more biodiversity, finish off the story. Maybe even adding more features like taming, as I previously mentioned, or like a dynamic weather system could be interesting. But those things aren't necessary at the moment. It's early access, and the game looks good, performs well, and it's fun. So it's right on track to be a masterpiece, really. I do admit I'm probably a bit biased, because, as I've said, I do enjoy Obsidian games, and I'm fascinated by bugs. So you build an Obsidian game around living among arthropods, then of course I'm going to love it. But it's free on Game Pass, that's how I'm playing at the moment, so if you can, I definitely recommend giving it a go. I'm really having a good time with this. Granted, we haven't come across a spider yet. Not afraid of spiders, I'm afraid of them in this game. Which again, probably to the credit of Obsidian, because this whole way through I've not only been nerding out, but I've also been looking over my shoulder dreading a spider attack. So I guess they did a pretty good job of making them out to be this incredibly horrifying alpha hunter. Which I guess they are in real life as well, but you know what I mean. But even so, they even added an arachnophobic mode. They still maintain the same sort of threat, but you can like remove the amount of eyes they have, or you can remove the legs depending on what kind of freaks you out. I think that means you get hunted down by these weird floating orbs or something, but it means it's accessible to some people who just can't deal with that sort of thing, which I really like, because I've known people to just not be able to play games like Skyrim, for instance, just because of the frostbite spiders, or Limbo, because of the huge spider in that, which I've put in the thumbnail actually. 
really. So it's nice to have that extra bit of accessibility, you know. I think as many people as they can get to enjoy the game, the better, really. And speaking of, that's a spider stuck in a leaf. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you alone. Although we need to go there. Oh no. Wait, no, we're just going down the side, okay. Panic over, everything's fine. This went from super cool insect world to fallout really, really quickly. Like, this feels like we just walked straight into a vault. Those look like idealized geometric shapes in that pink thing. Really glad you told me about them being geometric shapes. I wouldn't have guessed that they weren't natural without you, so thank you, Pete. Ah, look, a button puzzle. Oh god, how am I going to do this? And we did it. Wait, actually, I should probably turn them all green rather than red, shouldn't I? That would that sh that would be the thing that should be common sense. There we go. What the hell is that thing? Oh, good God, we're gonna die. Okay, sure, now teach me how to block. Didn't even know blocking was a thing. Yep, and we died. Rest in peace, Pete number one. Okay, well, let's run back and get our inventory and smash that tiny little weird robot to pieces. What's rustling all the grass over there? That is a huge spider. Um, don't notice me, don't notice me, don't notice me. Okay, time to run away. Jesus Christ, that is absolutely terrifying. Good Lord. That's a ladybird as well. I'm going to presume they're hostile. Probably a wise decision thinking that ladybird's hostile. It most likely is. Sure hope that other spider's gone. I'm very apprehensive. Oh, no, there you are. Okay, run away. Um, okay, he seems to just be sat there. That was actually terrifying though. And we're back. There's an ant in here for some reason. Can you please leave? I'm afraid I might hit you by accident. And if I do, I'm afraid that you might start attacking me. So I don't, I still don't fully trust you. Ants are dodgy little buggers. Oh, he's kind of helping. He's keeping it at bay. Thank you, ant friend. I could name you, but I won't. And just like that, we beat it. Wasn't expecting to fight a robot in this, or find a robot in this, and I definitely wasn't expecting to find and fight a flying robot with a taser for an arm. Things have certainly gotten interesting. I'll call more liquid science, whatever it is. I don't know what I'm using that for. But I'm just collecting it because it's a giant glowing pink orb, and that just seems like something I should pick up. Where are you hurt? Um, are you sure you want to help this thing? There was something very similar to it that just tried to kill us. To and did kill us at one point. Uh, we'll help it. Uh, it has a spatula for hand. Oh, thank god you explained that to me. I was was a bit lost there. Well, of all the names, they could have gone for something less, you know, ominous. Nope, wasn't me. Don't have a clue what you're on about. I like the moustache. Why would you? Okay, moving on. Well, that's the endless story content for now, but I'm sure we can expect that to be developed on soon, and though an Obsidian, we know it's going to be a good story. It's definitely intriguing so far, so things are looking good. You can definitely expect me to make some more content on this. I am absolutely loving this game. It's not entirely what I was expecting, but it's just completely exceeded my expectations, to be honest. So we've definitely got some more things to go through, maybe fighting a spider as well included. Kind of scary. So we'll be playing with it some more, and in addition to that, whenever it has like a content update, we'll definitely play through it as well. Hopefully my enthusiasm for this game has rubbed off a little bit, and this has been quite entertaining for you. Definitely let me know down in the comment section if you did enjoy this. It would be good to know and let me know what you think of the game yourself as well but i will call it here for now so thank you everyone so much for watching if you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see future content like this and i hope to see you next time cheers